Hi, this is Corey, and here's another Synchro training video. When I schedule, I use a lot of templates and fragment types of my schedules that I then copy and paste and then link the interrelated relationships. For instance, when I created this small foundation schedule, I looked at each individual area, copied that, and then linked the activities in between each other. Now, oftentimes I use Microsoft Excel to help me with this process to add additional detail on a formula basis. Synchro is powerful, but when I use it with Excel, I can do some pretty cool things. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is do some demo interiors, demonstration yeah. interiors. When we're dealing with construction, demo can often mean something very different. So, area A, and I can have layout, and a few more tasks. MEP, rough in. Frame walls. Overhead MEP, rough in. Frame walls. Sometimes I go fast when I'm doing these videos. So, frame walls. And wall rough. paint we get the picture so then what I'll do is copy this task right click copy task that I have control C set up I add a couple activities below and there we go so then I just go back and change this to area A or area C and then this one to area B so, oftentimes, what people do like to see, however, is additional information. They like to repeat this information, area A, or something similar to this, um, and then it would be copied up to, to additional levels. So, that's a job for Excel. I'm actually going to say one. Bring these over, and now I can copy these tasks as text into Excel. So if I do copy tasks as text, do something wild like this, and I don't want to go too far over the line here, but I'm going to say area A, and then I'm going to do an if statement. If this is not equal to blank, I'm going to make it equal to this, otherwise it's going to be the thing above it. I will then drag this down. And I'm going to put area B, area C. I'm going to do a concatenate function. With my task name. And here I'm just going to copy this copy this to clean up that data a little bit. And I'm going to make these all part of level one. So what I can do then is add to this list here. quite quickly manipulate my schedule here. I take it, copy these tasks, and I'm going to go back into Synchro. And I click on the first cell that I copied from, 
And now I need to right click and do a paste tasks as text. And here I was able to very quickly go through and add uh, these, all these tasks and detailed information. Level one. Area seed paint. Saved quite a bit of time. And then, as we copy down, I'm going to do this again. Do one of my favorites. I zip it down. Open up all my my interiors here. So what I want to do is now copy and change all of these level 1s to their subsequent levels. I have a <laughs> another pre-built Excel spreadsheet that is perfect for doing this sort of thing. So I right click, I copy these tasks as text, I'm going to take it back over to my name changer. And a lot of additional fields here, um, but bottom line, how this operates is it's going to look for level one and then it's going to replace the name with something else so if I wanted to say it would change over here all the level ones now what I've really done is change this so that I can go level two and then look for where my level 3 comes in. And now it's going to change this to level 3. Come over here for level 4. And all of my areas are going to be showing up. So I can take this back into Synchro. The standard copy. that level 2 area A where I started my copying. Full shift A. Beautifully. We are all set to go. So, Synchro is very powerful. Excel is very powerful. I mean, they work together. They are synergistic and even more powerful. Have fun and happy scheduling.